years from now Will you still be sending me a valentine? Birthday greeting bottle of wine If I've been out till quarter to three Would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Alright, welcome back. Today we're going to break up uh, the theme a bit and we're going to I'm going to show you my arrangement of When I'm 64 by the Beatles uh, for fingerstyle and uh, voice, fingerstyle guitar and voice. Fun song. For my vocal range it fits best in standard tuning with a capo on the 5th fret, but you can move around uh, to where you're most comfortable. So one of the keys to playing this song and the finger pattern that I'm using is a thumb index thumb middle, which is one of the most common picking patterns that there is for finger style. It was the first one that I really learned. So we're playing the A string with our thumb, and then we're playing the G string with our index finger, and then we're playing the D string with our thumb, and then we're playing the B string with our middle finger, ring finger. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. So once you get that, you should build up the speed. And then once you're uh, comfortable with speed, then you can start alternating the bass. So I'm adding the bass down here on the E string with my thumb, but I'm still playing the same G string, D string, and B string pattern. that I was here. And then you can move it around to different chords. Just keep the pattern once again on the D string, G string, and B string the same. I learned that because uh, that was one of the, you know, if you want to play, I started learning finger style really with Leo Kaki and trying to figure out his songs. And uh, I was reading an interview where said, the guy asked him, well, what kind of finger pattern do you use? And he said, I don't know, somewhere along the line I learned that thumb index, thumb middle pattern and I just kind of went from there. So all that early stuff of his was that crazy, uh, you know, fast tempo finger style. So that's all. That's all just thumb index, thumb middle with an alternating bass. So that is one of the most common finger picking patterns, probably along with the one that, uh, you know, uh, dust in the wind. That's another very common one, but we're not going to go over that one today. All right. So the intro is a little bit syncopated, and that's the tricky part of the intro. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm starting on the A, A string and the D string 
of the C chord. I'm plucking those notes together. And then I'm using my index finger just to flat the note. Go down a half step. So the second part is just all my index finger. So then after that, we're going to pluck the open G string with the middle finger and then we're going to alternate the bass. We're going to come down and play that on the, on the bass string. And then we're going to come back and play once again with our index finger. We're going to play the D string. And then uh, once we get there, we're going to come back to the bass string here. And we're going to pluck it along with the G string open and add that note. And then I'm plucking both of those with my middle finger. And then that's how we finish it. And you can hear the syncopation there. So that, that's the tricky part of that, is just getting the syncopation. Once again, uh, A string, G string together. And then come up and fret that with your index finger on the B string. And then strike with your thumb the bass note. And then we're playing all that on the B string. I play it all with my middle finger, but uh, you can practice with your right hand. I don't think about the right hand too much of, of what finger is doing what. I just kind of listen, trying to hear it in my head and just make my hand do it and not think about it too much. If you think about things too much, you get all tongue-tied, finger-tied. All right, now we're going to play an F in the bass and the open E string. I find it easiest to play it with my thumb because we're going to be going to a G sort of suspended chord to finish the phrase. So we're just coming back down that scale. playing the bass note and this note on the B string together and then just playing that and finishing on a C and G chord and that really finishes that phrase so yeah that's it's not terribly difficult aside from just getting that syncopation of the bass note. You just have to keep the bass note, you know, going steady back and forth. So that's the really the most difficult part of that. Uh, okay, then is when I start the thumb index, thumb middle pattern for the verse. When I get older, and see I'm alternating the bass. When I get older, losing my hair, many years from now. Okay, now we're going to a G chord. I just pluck it, and then add that little bass part. in my head many years from now 
and then continue with the thumb index except on the G chord you still be sending me a valentine birth okay now we're playing the lower uh, just the two strings the G string and the and the lower the bass string E string we're going to do that chromatic run up Will you still be sending me a valentine? Birthday greeting, bottle of wine. Then we come up to this C chord, and I'm plucking the bass note, and then with my index and middle finger, I'm playing those notes. Valentine, birthday greeting, bottle of wine. And then I, I finish it with just a. Bottle of wine, birthday greeting, bottle of wine. If I've been out, then I'm starting the pattern again. If I've been out till quarter to three, would you lock? So now we're making it a C7, still alternating the bass. And then we're going to an F major chord. I play it as a bar chord. Will you still need me? F minor, C major, will you still feed me A7, D7, when I'm G7, 64, will you, need, will you still need me, will you still feed me when I'm 64? So you can see I'm still doing the thumb index, thumb middle. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? All right. Yeah. Get to the next part. We go to A minor chord, and now we're gonna be we're gonna be plucking all the notes together. We're not gonna be uh, alternating now. So playing an A minor, kind of do the suspended, and just open that, uh, open the B string as you go down. Go to a G chord, pluck that on the G string, and then go to a sort of A power chord just the lower three strings, the A string, D string, and G string of the A minor chord. So you can see we're just coming up the melody notes, starting on the A power chord, playing the B string open, playing the B string, the regular A minor chord, and then coming up to play the ninth up here on the E string. You'll be older too. And then we're going to an E7 chord. So there I'm just holding the E7 chord and then I'm just fretting the B string, laying my index finger down on the B string.
we're just adding that on the B string. And then we're going to come up to this A minor chord. We're still playing all the strings together. So I'm playing the A string open, playing the A minor triad up here. So I'm coming down adding the 7 of the A minor chord. And then I'm still playing the A minor. I'm just coming down the strings. I'm starting on the top three and then coming down to the more middle three. And then with that cues, that cues, it helps me cue the vocal in because I know when I get down to that inversion is when I start singing. And if you, so see how that, minor F I will stay G with you and then we stop on the C chord and then we play that melody once again however it, you uh, feel comfortable picking these lines with your fingers once again I don't think about it too much when I'm I just hear it in my head and I just trust my hand to do it So now we're going to a G chord. Here I'm playing the, the bass note and I'm just using my index and middle finger to pluck the top two strings of the G chord. And then we come back and play the bass note twice with our thumb. And then we pluck the same two top strings again. Just come up with my, I play it with my thumb. So I'm just coming up the bottom notes of a G chord. And then finishing on the D string here. Be handy, mending a fuse when your lights have gone. Sweated by the fireside Sunday morning Go for a ride um, mm, Tending the guard Tending the guard Is pulling the weeds Who could ask for more? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64 Every summer we could So you're say you're playing the same thing that he played instrumentally at the start. Except this time he's actually singing over that. Every summer we could every summer we could rent a cottage in the Isle of Wight if it's not too dear. Shall scram and say grandchildren on our knees, Vera, Chuck, and Dave. So every uh, every verse is the same. And we just do the uh, outro is the same as the intro. To end. All right, so that's my fingerstyle arrangement of when I'm 64 for fingerstyle guitar and voice. Um, that's a really fun tune uh, to play. A little bit challenging, but I'm sure you'll get there with some practice.
So until next time, yeah, have a great day and we'll stay safe and we'll talk later. Bye.